Welcome back to a new video. This one, as you know from the title, is about weird animals. So here are 11 animals that I think are weird. We'll start this off with something not as abnormal as the others. It's called a hyrax. These rodents can grow up to 20 inches or almost 2 feet. I like it because it looks sort of funny, but the main reason I picked this one is because of its strange relationship to a certain species. It's not a relative of a beaver or a groundhog, as you may think. It's actually related to the elephant. I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised. You can clearly see the resemblance. Moving down the line to number 10 is a reptile called the gharial or the gavial. It looks like an alligator or a crocodile, but it's actually a type of hyena. Wait, no, that's not right. It's basically a crocodile. It tends to eat fish and other small things. Despite their dangerous looking snout, gharials can't eat humans or any other large creature. The only reason I picked this one was because of its long snout. While we're on the topic of long noses, let's look at this bird called the sword-billed hummingbird. This is actually a newly discovered creature. It uses its super long beak to get nectar from flowers that other birds can't reach. Its beak is 4 inches long, and its body without the beak is 5.5 inches. In my opinion, this is a really cool bird. The next creature on this list is a dolphin, a pink river dolphin. These dolphins are found in the Amazon River. Their lifespan is about 17 to 18 years, unless they get eaten by a caiman, which is another type of crocodile. Usually though, they don't have any predators. Pink river dolphins eat fish, crabs, and even turtles. Like normal dolphins, they're friendly towards people. Unfortunately, they're endangered with only around 3,000 left. A lot of them are accidentally killed by water pollution. Hopefully though, we can restore their population and take them out of endangerment. Number 7, the Jerboa. This animal is definitely the cutest on the list. These tiny rodents can grow from 1.5 to 4 inches. Believe it or not, they get smaller. There's another kind called the pygmy jerboa, but it's only a little bit smaller than the normal one. They are similar to kangaroos by the way they look and by the way they move around. They get around by hopping on their two long legs and use their tail to balance when they land. Despite their small size, they can jump up to almost 10 feet. What I found really surprising is that these things are actually deadly. They've even been banned from the US. They carry a disease called monkeypox, which I'm not going to show you pictures of. If you want to look that up yourself, then that's your business. But be prepared because it's really gross and kind of scary. The last one was super cute, but this one is the complete opposite. It's called the hammerhead bat. I know what you're thinking. That thing is quite possibly the ugliest animal I have ever seen. And with that, I agree. It's probably the weirdest thing I've seen. I wouldn't want to see this thing in real life, ever. And it's a bat, which means it can fly. That just makes it three times worse. Thankfully, they don't live in the USA, but instead in African forests. So if you live in Africa, just don't ever go outside. Even if they did live in America, they wouldn't hurt you. There have actually been zero reports of these bats harming anyone. So once you get over its looks, it's not that bad. You probably haven't ever seen or heard of this thing before. It's called a Patagonian Mara. It looks like a jackrabbit, it acts like a jackrabbit, it eats the same things as a jackrabbit, it tastes like a jackrabbit, but it isn't. I almost took it out of the video because it's not really that interesting, but I like how it looks, so it's in here. It's herbivorous, so it eats fruits, vegetables, and nuts. It's found in Argentina and Patagonia, obviously. Maybe you know of this thing already. This fish is called the Arapaima. It's considered to be the largest freshwater fish because it can reach a weight of 440 pounds and 10 feet long. That's more than a foot taller than the largest recorded human, who is 811. These things can be found in the Amazon River in Brazil, as well as somewhere else in Peru. What I think is really cool is the fact that they can build up enough energy to jump out of the water. I think they can reach a height of like 8 feet or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's it. Speaking of weird water animals, let's talk about the axolotl. I like these things a lot. The babies are amphibious, but once they become adults, they stay in the water full time. Apparently these were the inspiration for Mudkip from Pokemon. They reach adulthood without metamorphosis, which is what most amphibians undergo to become adults. What I think is funny is that their name translates to water dog because they live in the water and... Where did the dog come from? 
You can eat axolotls, but that's disgusting. Do you really want this thing in your mouth? Sadly, they're going extinct. They're not quite extinct yet, but they're critically endangered, which is one level above extinct in the wild. Hopefully we can bring them back in a healthy population soon, because this is a creature we don't want to lose. The second on the list can't go extinct, because it's immortal. Like, actually immortal. It's called the immortal jellyfish. This jellyfish can convert its cells to turn back into a polyp, or baby, again. Technically, they can die from predators or diseases, but if those problems didn't exist, they could literally live forever. They're tiny, by the way. Like, when they're fully developed, they only grow to about the size of a human pinky fingernail. There isn't really much to say about them other than that. Here we are at the last one on the list. By far the weirdest animal. Could you even call it an animal? By far the weirdest organism I've ever seen or heard of. I present to you the Garothorax. What even is this thing? It's real too. It's not just some character that somebody made up. What is this even supposed to be related to? A frog? Not much is known about them. The Garothorax isn't alive now. It was alive 247 million years ago during the Triassic period. It was an amphibious creature with external gills and a flat body, which it used to shuffle along the sand at the bottom of a body of water. It could grow up to be a meter long in length, so good thing they aren't alive now, because that would be pretty scary. There's no other information I could find on them. That wraps up the video, I guess. If you know of any other weird animals that I didn't mention, tell me in the comments, and I might make a part two. One more thing. Before anyone says I just got all of this information off of Wikipedia, that's not true. Some of it was from the internet, but I actually got some books as well and did things the old-fashioned way. Plus you get a visual here, which, in my opinion, is a lot more entertaining than just reading the facts off of a screen. Okay, that's actually it. I hope you have a great day or night, and I'll see you in the next video. Actually, you'll see me in the next video. It doesn't matter. Goodbye.